2011 prelim final B Hawthorne. Um, there's about a minute to go or a minute 30 to go and there's a stoppage in our forward 50 and the ball just falls into my arms and I throw it on the left boot over the shoulder and somehow it sailed through and put us back in front. Goal of the year, 2012, uh, against Richmond in round one. Did he kick off the siren? Yeah, probably my first game. Your first game, um, it's always uh, so unique. Um, I wish I was better prepared. <laughs> oh, I'd love to have been there in 1954 when the Bulldogs won the Premiership, the final siren. Probably kicking my first goal and um, the feeling I got and having Richo and so forth give me a big cuddle straight after it was a pretty special feeling. My first home game, so my second game at AFL footy, kicked a couple of goals. Probably my first goal, the final siren in 06. Finals win against Carlton here a couple of years ago. Winning that prelim, uh, that was a fantastic moment with so many people and fans in the crowd. Uh, the last quarter of the 2012 Grand Final, I can't remember a thing, so it would be good to relive it. Probably the Serioli one. Probably trying to run the whole field. Probably the handball Nick Malczewski, just to, that he kicked the winning goal yeah, within 2012. Playing the 2010 Premiership was pretty special. The siren going in the Grand Final wins. Probably when the Kangaroos won the 1999 Grand Final. I was a Kangaroo supporter. Buddy kicking 100 goals. I'd love to be there. Tom James here, keep the snap goal against, against West Coast to win the game. I would have loved to have been at the MCG for that Hawthorne Geelong Grand Final. Geelong College Grand Final, back in school, first in 56 years. My under 14 premiership uh, when my dad was coach is the only premiership I've ever won. Graham Johncock's goal in uh, the finals two years ago. The five minutes after John Cox's goal. 2008, where I had a lot of shots that hit the post late in the game, so I'd like to have all of those over again. Getting six goals kicked against me in the first half of a game against um, Kurt Tibbet, Hubbard Sydney last year. Maybe my first game, I got a tool of the week for punching Cole Silver in a, Sylvia in a celebration, um, which was quite embarrassing. Getting hit in the head by the goal and pies flag. I was kicking in Essen and uh, Carlton when they beat us came back last year. A kick. I shouldn't have kicked. <laughs> there was a Collingwood game last year where Travis Clark went bananas. I'd like to take that game back. One of my suspensions, you'd like to take them back. You're never out there to purposely hurt your opponent. I've got two weeks for whacking Alipati Carlisle in a dead rubber. Round 22, we couldn't make finals. Round 23 against Richmond got reported, suspended for two weeks, so I'm not playing for the first two rounds this year. Running into um, the young St. Killers Blake's jaw. Probably not getting hit in the jaw by Luke Hodge during the year, they were being. I don't think we'd miss that. Yeah, probably would want to break the leg. Another back of the flight there, showing too much, showing too much courage. Yeah. The Andrew Walker mark. Uh, Russell Robertson used my my groin as a step ladder one day. That was um, not pleasant. Didn't look great for me. Looked great for Russell. Ninety-six or ninety-nine. I think both. You know, losing a prelim below point. Probably that first game against Carl. Probably like to erase the first uh, three years of my career. To be honest. <laughs> probably the drawn grand final. Probably finish it there, rather rather get a result there and then obviously win. But um, yeah, it was a bit of a numbing feeling that the draw grand final. Probably that bounce of the footy in 2010 grand final. The 2006 grand final, in particular, a shot on goal in the third quarter that I missed. I really should have got that. Probably in the grand final when I kicked two kicks out the pool. 2008 grand final. Hopefully, uh, start again and, and see what happens. Off. Second year, I think, I went for a check side, went across to face a goal. Hawthorne went down the other end and um, kicked a goal, and I got the nickname Hollywood after that. Probably when we lost to GWS, um, we are probably the first team to, to lose to them, and it was probably a moment that, that we ended up losing our coach with Matty Primus, and um, yeah, it changed the football club. Oh, the birth of my first child. 21st birthday. Good night, Alan. I guess all the altitude camps overseas um, have been fantastic, and um, especially the one in South Africa. Here in the news, my brother had a little boy. It was funny that my partner was pregnant. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a massive occasion for me off field, um, and uh, probably finding out there was a boy who was uh, a bit of cream on the top. So hopefully, get a father son, get 12 more games, and uh, go from there. The birth of my my niece, um, two years oh, four years ago now. Um, uh, she's always always rings me up from WA, and um, certainly. You know, I was there when it happened, so um, it's good to cherish that moment with her. Recently went to the Maldives with my girlfriend. Um, yeah, that was unreal. Probably the excitement of um, when I first uh, received um, the letter from the Essendon Football Club saying that they were going to draft me. Maybe my school this week. Uh, probably a couple of the fo football trips uh, in the early 2000s. I'd love to go back to school, year 12, 
just for a few days, not for too long. Birth of the kids? Probably just recently. I've recently uh, become engaged, so um, pretty uh, crazy feeling. Uh, it was like I was playing the first game again, probably even worse. I was that nervous. Probably when I went to <laughs> Dreamworld and Movie World as a kid. Getting to base camp, Mount Everest. First time I brought my dog home. Definitely Andrew McLeod. Probably Peter Matera. Ben Cousins. Ben Cousins. I'd love to uh, play alongside Wayne Carey. Oh, the duck. Wayne Carey. Wayne Carey. Probably Mark Rusciuto. Rusciuto. Tony Lockett. James Hurd. Probably Dara Bulldog. Sean Wren. Probably a big Warwick Kappa. He would have been pretty, uh, pretty entertaining. I would have loved to be alongside playing with Gary Ablett Senior. John Coleman. Peter Dacos. Polly Farmer. Gary Ablett Senior. The Cracker Brothers. Oh, I'd go like John Coleman, I reckon. Kevin Murray. Yeah. Byron Pickett. I guess Lee Matthews would be the one that the one you'll feel like you missed. Bob Skilton. Andrew McLeod. I reckon Dermy. Just excitement machine. Um, say Robbie Flower. Heard a lot about him. Brent Croswell. EJ Whitten. Would have loved to have seen EJ. Kuda Fetis was my favourite. Uh, Nicky Winmer. Stephen Silvani, Gavin Brown. I'd love to play alongside Gavin Brown. I'd love to be able to watch Gary Ablett Sr. run around at his peak, definitely.